Hey everyone, um, we are refixing up some old ones. Uh, we're looking at the beach for drive recovery, the basic self recovery options. Um, we'll be doing more in depth ones later. So, this is just some basic minor ones we're going over. So, um, I was letting my wife drive the car, uh, and we, this is more of a simulated situation where um, she's actually put on the brakes instead of slowing down and has actually sort of dug herself deeper in which would be a situation if you hit softer you started to spin your wheels you sort of dug yourself down um, and in for high you couldn't go forward so ha we had the option of either going dropping down into four low and trying to continue forward uh, as it's going upwards but uh, like in this video, what I wanted to do was to basically demonstrate how using the gravity from the incline we were on, reversing backwards over the sand uh, up until the top. There's a mound just up towards the top where she hits there. You can see as sand starts to flick as she is losing grip. So she stands and stops at that top section and then basically we're repeating the same um, motions again to firm off that same section of sand uh, that is basically soft. So every time we're going over it, we're basically creating our own ruts. So essentially uh, we're rocking, you would start off slowly, rocking the back of the vehicle back and forth until you can get a long stretch like this to build up the speed you need to get through the soft section. So in this part, I'm actually explaining to her um, just to how to reverse back and to make sure you stay on that same line. As you can see here, she went a bit too quick off the mark, flicked it off, that's not really what you want to do. And um, then I said that's basically the point you want to stop at. And when you come forward, try and stay in line with the time marks you've already made. Uh, and I was my hand gestures were to say straighten up the wheels so the wheels were perfectly straight um, so you ran that straight line again uh, if you move those wheels left and right too much uh, as you drive it'll just churn up more so that was a simple forward and back forward and back and now we have a nice hard section and that's the soft section in front of us that we want to get through um, to then get out of the uh, that area so the next video is actually the whole thing. So she reverses back up to the mound. And then basically I say, give her a good run up. And then um, in actual fact, I think, yeah, she gives it a good run up and then asks her to pretty much go all the way through, continue the power straight through the soft portion like she just did then and then turn um, with the power that you've you've gained through that momentum and stop when you've got um, a harder section of sand, which is what happened. So that's rocking it out. So as you can see in the pictures, um, you can see how when she takes off uh, quickly, you can see how it churns that sand because there's little blocks of it. So it's better to slowly take off if you can uh, to build up speed because otherwise this is just... Uh, you're just churning up that sand, you're not actually making it harder. So nice smooth takeoffs, but the principles remain the same. So we want to flatten out and harden that stretch. So this one gives you a good, uh, good vision of down the line. You can see uh, we've created basically the, our own rut and it's now nice and firm and solid. So you can gain that traction quite easily um, to build up the speed you need to get out. So you'd start small, and then work up. So that's the real boggy section. That's a picture of that. You can see how there's quite a lot of um, divots and dug in sections. That's as you're trying to, if you were trying to get out of that, where it digs holes and that's what we don't want to see happening. So this is another uh, example of, I did uh, deliberately put my car up like this to try and so show you if you're off the main beach area and you want to get up onto the rut but you didn't have enough momentum and then you get stuck in a position 
like this or you slide down, um, you can end up in a position where not all wheels have like this. You can see how the back wheel there uh, doesn't have a lot of traction because it's uh, higher up and there's not much contact with the sand. It's the same with the front tyre. Uh, you can see it's very dug in at the front on that side. Uh, so you're not going to get a lot of traction, whereas on this side, you have both wheels, uh, because of the angle that we're on, uh, have uh, basically sunken deeper in. So we're not going to continue to be able to go forward in this example, because one side doesn't have enough power. Um, and yeah, so what I've done is in this example, what I will use is uh, self-made recoveries, and I've cleared a bit of a track out with the sand, uh, with a shovel just in this picture behind the wheel in the direction I'd like it to go. And then similarly, I put this as a homemade Max Trax like a Max Trax version, made out of stronger wood with the things that the tires can grip on. Uh, it's quite long, and then you ramp it up so you don't make it come up at a big like 45 degree angle. You ramp it and you make it come back directly straight. And then the video I'll show you us basically going over using these to go backwards. So you can see the angle then, they're, they're not steep, but the vehicle grabs hold of the, the um, uh, DYR versions. And I managed to get out of that situation, reverse backwards onto the harder section um, with the concept of all right, now I'm, I'm in this position. I've gone back a fair distance where it's nice and firm. I can build up my speed and use my speed and momentum to push me straight through. As you see, nice big, big grunt and right up, straight up into the rut, no dramas. So that shows how that's done. Um, I do have Mac tracks, but these were DYs, as you can see in that picture. Picked it up from a, um, a building site scrap heap and put some hex screws and little uh, bars on it for it to, do, to work. So if you don't have money, you can get to uh, you make yourself some extracts if you really want to. But it's just two examples of ways of self recovery. So hopefully that's helpful. And um, there'll be part two where it gets a little bit more complex. So until then, uh, enjoy, and I'll see you on the next video.